Web application firewalls are the most annoying when you know that there is vulnerability out there. Usually it's old, not really well maintained websites, so in most cases it's just easier to put WAF on the top of them. What if I told you that there is a way to bypass this layer of protection? I am talking about finding the original IP address as a method. We will explore multiple ways how you can do it. Also, stay to the end since as a bonus I will be sharing the top tips how to do it effectively. There are multiple ways actually how you can bypass web application firewall. I will be sharing other ways in the future as it's pretty interesting topic, especially if you are into the cybersecurity, doing it professionally or just curious. So if you don't want to miss any content like this, you know what to do. So this is that diagram of how firewall works. So basically there is a regular user there is a malicious user or a hacker. In this diagram we are in the same category, although we have a good intent. In the middle it's a firewall. Each block of this uh, wall represents a certain rule that basically blocks or passes the request. And at the end is the target server. So following the regular flow, usually the regular user just goes to the firewall. Firewall checks the request if it's legit and passes that request to the server. Then server processes that request, sends back to the firewall and the firewall sends to the client. Uh, it's doing that because the origin server don't want to disclose its own IP to the clients right here. And like hacker don't want to go through the middleman. He wants to go to the server directly basically because if, for example, you are sending SQL injection, XSS, other payloads, it could those requests could be blocked. So that's why you need to know the location of the server, I mean origin IP. Uh, sometimes there could be cases when the request could be blocked by the server itself, or sometimes there could be rerouting. If, for example, going directly, it could be rerouted to the firewall as well. But those cases are exceptions, this time we will try to find a way just by accessing the origin IP here and trying to communicate directly. The first thing that you should do always is check if target truly has web application firewall in place. There are a couple of easy ways to do that. So first thing what I like to do is ping the target. I will ping my own website so let's try to see as you can see it responds with ip if it responds with that ip it doesn't mean that it will be like origin ip it could be just web application firewall so let's try accessing it and as you can see it's like regular cloudflare error other thing what you can do is also use Vapalizer plugin. As you can see as CDN it uh, basically shows that I'm using Cloudflare. Another thing is also going back to the terminal and using uh, tools like uh, DNS Recon. So DNS Recon, use D flag for domain and just paste my website as you can see it what it basically do is just access uh, try to access dns uh, records so there are a couple of it sometimes you can leak the ip address of uh, like origin ip address just through dns but as you can see a lot of cloudflare name servers uh, those are email and those a records is also cloudflare server so txt records sometimes could leak i have my crazy dns records here as you can see i, I was testing some kind of website so yeah uh, other tool you don't need actually to use dns recon well it's CLI tool if you like graphical interfaces. 
you could also check uh, who is website and just place it here and you will basically click on the dns results and pretty much it will be pretty much the same but you won't see a txt record in this case so maybe using dns record is more convenient but you can also try this one next thing what i recommend doing is using shodan because it's also easy to check and i can basically leak a lot of uh, ips like using basic search and copying those ip addresses and trying to access it um, like this close let's try excluding those titles that has invalid url and maybe i want those who have 200 access as well so yeah as you can see I can access all my IPs directly, like this one, this one, let's try, maybe just paste it in the search bar and in some cases you might end up getting access to the original IP, like in this case. Another uh, good method is using census, so also like paste your target here in the search and after a while you can try some filtering as well. Uh, so some, for example, Akamai, Amazon and stuff like that is not interesting for us, but if you do some kind of filtering, you could probably leak some uh, IPs this way as well. Lastly, my favorite method is using security trails. You can create free account and use it freely. So it's good for targeting just single website to get no its IP address. Let's try my own website and try to access uh, historical data. As you can see, you also can check DNS records like with previous tools, but this one is pretty interesting for us apart from Cloudflare you can see uh, before five months it was using this IP address and if I try to access it directly it will go to the Hostinger load balancing page it won't go to my page but still sometimes for example if target uses vps provider and that vps provider has its own ip and if you access that ip directly you can potentially get like origin ip of uh, the website if you try all of those methods on your target you will have a chance to not be detected under vav's radar it will make your life much easier when you need to do certain exploitation like for fuzzing XSS, SQL injections. So before even building sophisticated payload, I highly encourage you to find the origin IP. In case when you don't find the origin IP, I will share some methods how you can bypass the web application firewall. That is the plan for the future content. So if you don't want to miss it, uh, feel free to smash that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching and enjoy our bug bounty journey